Hey guys, it's Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some of the things I just picked up from auction. Um, auction was pretty crowded today, so I didn't videotape pulling in or anything like that. Um, I'm still getting used to people staring at me. I'm not very into that, but I do want to show you guys now that I'm home, I've unloaded onto the front porch and I want to clean everything before it goes inside because a lot of it's really dusty. So we're going to do our haul video today out here. Um, subscribe, like us, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our eBay and Etsy stores at Whitewoods Market Co. We're all around in, um, Whitewoods Market Co. Search anywhere, you'll find us. Um, anyway, let's jump in and get started. We're going to start at this end and I'm going to kind of work my way um, across our table here okay um so our first item is this little trinket and then we also have another lady these aren't really marked there's no markings on the bottom this one just says made in taiwan um i got i'll show you guys this whole flat i'm going through right now was ten dollars so these were included in the ten dollar flat also included in that flat was this little bottle here, little green guy. It just was plum wine. So I think it's just a vintage bottle. I'm not sure what you'd use it for now. Um, it unscrews and then has a cork on it. Kind of cool, I guess, if that's what you're looking for. We'll see. Um, some of the stuff I just kind of will throw up on Etsy or eBay for really cheap and see what they go for. That one. It looked like this flat was from a um, like vintage store, like an antique store, because it's marked 25. So we actually might be able to do something good with that one. We'll see. This next piece out of this flat, uh, this is why I bought the flat, it is Hager. It's a little Hager candle holder marked on the bottom, Hager. This is why I bought that flat. I don't know, I might keep that myself. I don't really decorate with a lot of gold, it's more silver, um, but I do love that Hager piece. So, with some vintage books on the one end, and oh, so cute, okay. The last item in that flat is this whole ceramic pot, and it says hall on the bottom. I do love this pot, it's mint green, it's super cute. Um, so, like I said, this whole flat, was ten dollars plus the eighteen percent commission that they get from the auction house, which was not bad at all. Okay, guys, are you ready? <sighs> this piece. Obviously, he's dusty, but look at him. He's got little red beaded eyes. <laughs> he's so cool. And I think I got him for 18, if I'm not mistaken, $18. Got him, so. Uh, he'll be up in the Etsy shop, short, this shop, I'm not gonna keep him. Uh, yeah, we're not keeping him, but he's really cool. I think my dogs would freak out <laughs> every time they saw him. I'm gonna do my best to show you guys this. It is a serving dish, serving tray. It's on a pedestal dish, it rotates. All of the dishes come out and they're all marked Japan on the bottom. Little dishes. So, um, I think I paid $4 for that. And I have no idea. I did not look up comps on these. Okay, the next thing is I got a set of six cups. Little, um, like coffee style cups. So I got six of these, and these were two dollars. That's what they say on the bottom. So two dollars got six of them. Better than Goodwill. Okay, I'm gonna save the ones that are right here because those are super cool. Um, I got this amazing rug, and I got this rug for fourteen dollars. I'll model this rug. <laughs> and 
Anyway, it's got the fringe on it, very southwest. I believe this is a five by seven, no, five by three. Yes, five by three. And it's quality, it's super heavy. And the pattern's on the one side and the other. It's double sided. Here comes the cat. And this is the tag. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, there we go. There you go. You guys can see that tag. And it doesn't smell bad. Simon? The cat is here. We have a neighborhood cat. Come here, Simon. So I'm allergic to cats, but the neighbors down the street brought Simon with him and he's not having it he's not having it but anyway he's not the neighborhood cat he'll wander in your garage if you're working just wanders around staring at me like why the frick did you pick me up lady anyway the kids love him all the neighborhood kids will feed him and do their thing with him it's really cute really cute he's just standing there looking at me now <laughs> Then I got this wool tapestry. Oh, now the dogs see Simon. Hey! Anyway, wool tapestry. Super cool. And I think I got this one $8, $10, something like that. Something like that. And then I got six of these trays. And I've been able to sell these trays for about 10 to $12 a piece if I want to sell them fast. So um, I bought six of them for $10. So one of them will pay for all of them. And then you rake in the rest of the money, pure profit. Oh, now my dog is right here looking at Simon. So I've got Simon walking around over here somewhere by the fire pit. And I have Faith standing at the front door with the screen door open, staring him down. It's fantastic. Um, I also, before I show you the reason I love this auction house, I love this auction house. Um, I got two flats full of books. I'm not going to bore you guys with showing you the books unless you want me to. Um, put in the comments down below, yeah, we want to see your, your haul of books. And I can do just a regular book haul. I buy a lot of vintage, rare books, stuff like that. And I list them probably twice to three times a week on eBay. That means like 20 plus listings each time I list books. So I'll put like, I'll put them in lots of 20 and then I'll send 20 through one day and send another 20 through, 20 through two days after or whatever. So if you're interested in vintage rare books, check out our eBay at Whitewoods Market Co. You'll find clothing, shoes, purses, belts, all of that. But you'll also find some really cool vintage books, rare books, things like that. Um, that I just don't, whatever I don't sell on Etsy, I sell on eBay. So good news for you guys. If you aren't into our Etsy store, check out our eBay one. We've got stuff over there completely different um, realm of um, inventory. You know, you've got your ladies stuff mainly on Etsy, but then you've got your men's and your ladies and your kids and everything else over on eBay. <laughs> There's Simon. Okay. He's so funny, look at him. He's gonna climb up on that chair, isn't he? Hmm. Simon, you wanna make the video? Such a cool cat. Anyway, these bookends are my grand score from auction this week. I paid $18 for the set of two. I looked them up on Etsy and I was stunned. I thought, oh, $80. Great. $175. Thank you, $18. 
an auction for your brass bullhead boar. Maybe they're boars. I don't know what they are. I'm not keeping them. They're going to go up on eBay or on Etsy. I'm sorry. These are going to go on Etsy. I have two of them. It's going to be a pair. So go on to eBay, buy my vintage books, and go over to Etsy and get yourself some boar head. Can't boar head. Sounds like I'm saying boar's head. Not, we're not buying meat here. We're buying bookends. Okay, not boar's head, lunch meat. Boar head, mid-century modern brass bookends. I saw these and I about freaked out. At first second I thought, oh, those would be really cool. I want those. No, we're not keeping those. They're very cool. We'll take a picture of them and put them on our Instagram feed so we can remember what we had. But we're not keeping them. No, we're going to sell those because uh, we would have known. All right, so I'm going to turn you guys around for a second. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know if that I really want to turn you guys around anyway because my front porch looks like crap. See, that's what reselling looks like. It's not always pretty, it's not always gorgeous, but we make do. And uh, this hair is having a day of its own. But anyway, um, if you guys are interested, I wanna be able to take you guys along with me when I trash pick, when it's um, bulk trash season, or time, I guess. It's once a month, so time, I guess, that would be it. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing any of that or what you guys would like me to post here and do videos on um, anything you guys want me to do, I will try and create for you guys. So, all right, thank you for your support, guys. Remember to like and subscribe.